is the Holy Roman Empire, the Jesuits, and Black Nobility, with Black Nobility being the most powerful. The Black Nobility is a network of extremely powerful families that date back as far as ancient Egypt or even earlier. They use any tactic necessary, including murder, fraud, genocide, terrorism, etc., to protect their wealth and keep the common man under financial slavery. As the centuries passed and the 1700s came around, the Black Nobility set up strategic alliances with the Illuminati and the Freemasons. It was an unholy trinity that would use the Earth's population at their disposal to protect their interests. The black nobility were students of the Greek philosopher Aristotle, who believed that slavery was a necessary institution. Because some are born to rule, and others to be ruled. The idea that certain families were born to rule as an arbitrary elite, while the vast majority of any given population is condemned to oppression or slavery, became the theological position of this elite. The black nobility became so powerful that even the Roman Catholic Church, which ruled much of Europe, became fearful of them, with several botched attempts to conquer them. The irony of the matter is that when the papacy's iron rule came to an end in 1870, it was the black nobility who were there to act as the comrades of the Pope in helping to negotiate the terms of the Vatican's future existence under Benito Mussolini. You might be wondering where the Jews fit into all this. Well, in 1832, the Vatican needed a loan because of declining finances and the Rothschild family provided it. They also gave them another loan in the 1850s, so the Vatican is indebted to the Rothschilds. Not to mention that the Jesuits were founded by a crypto Jew named Ignatius Loyola. This is why they are sometimes referred to as the Jew suits. And these facts may be why the Jews have so much power when it comes to military, corporations, politics, banking, Hollywood, and other media. Maybe they would have it regardless, I'm not sure. The Illuminati order was preceded in the 1500s in Spain by the Alumbrados, a Christian heresy started by crypto-Jews called Muranos. The founder of the Jesuit order, Ignatius of Loyola, was a Murano, Alumbrado. Thus, when people today argue whether it is the Jesuits or the Zionists who are responsible for our troubles, they are really talking about the same beast. One thing I know for sure is that if someone is keeping humanity down, no matter who it is or which group they belong to, they deserve to be called out. Zionists, Frankists, Khazars, the British Crown, the Vatican, the Jesuits, the Freemasons, the Black Pope, the Black Nobility, etc. If they are all doing it, then there's no use in trying to argue which one is worse. But there's no denying that all roads lead to Rome. This has been ODD TV. Thanks for watching.